Alrighty, what is going on everyone? I hope you're all doing well today. Welcome to our third instalment in our Professions Leveling Guide series. Today, as the title suggests, we're doing first aid. Before we jump into that though, just as always guys, if you've not seen the previous video in the series where we made some delicious food, then you can find a card to that video in the upper right hand portion of the screen right now. Alternatively, you can find the link to that video along with all of my other playlists on gold farming down below in the description box. Some information about this profession before we begin is that this profession out of all three secondary professions is that it is in fact the easiest and most fast to level. The time spent leveling first aid was way faster than cooking and fishing. On top of this, it is potentially almost completely free to level, aside from a couple of books and the usual cost of buying the next skill in rank or learning the new bandage to level up higher. If you were to farm all of the cloth in order to do this, it wouldn't take you long at all, particularly in the lower to mid range bandages. So for linen cloth, I would farm this in places like dead mines or stockades. Wool cloth can also be found in stockades too. We all know as well that tons of silk cloth will drop in SM and plenty of mage weave can be found in Zulfaruk. Unfortunately, as a paladin, we can't really do much to farm rune cloth from BRD. So if you have a mage alt, then that could come in handy for this as well. But if farming all of those places for the required amount of cloth isn't your cup of tea, then not to worry. We can easily purchase them all from the auction house, which leads me to my next point. In order to go from 1 to 300 in first aid, you will need approximately 173 linen cloth, 130 wool cloth, 122 silk cloth, 87 mage weave cloth, and 62 rune cloth. Alongside this, you'll also need the following books, Expert First Aid Under Wraps, Manual Heavy Silk Cloth Bandage, and Manual Mage Weave Bandage, which are all located at the Stormguard Keep in the Arafi Highlands. Unfortunately, I cannot give you an accurate price on all of those items combined due to different servers having different prices. However, the books will cost less than one gold 50 in total. Also note, I already had almost all of the cloth saved up ready for this from my own farming sessions. So I spent under 10 gold to do this personally. Before we jump into the exact step by step guide, I'd like to point out some of the positives to this profession to you along with the negatives, if any. First aid is an amazing profession to use, not just for us paladins, which you may wonder as a class that can heal, why would I even want this? but it's also fantastic for any class in the game. It's amazing because even as a paladin, if you look at the heavy rune cloth bandages, they heal for 2000 HP. Essentially, that's a free holy light heal once used. So for situations like farming where you've got a couple of seconds to get off a quick cast, it's amazing for saving mana. The same goes for raids or PvP too. If you can catch a quick break from the action and you can get in a cheeky cast, then you can get most of your HP back in the space of a few seconds. Super handy, right? As I said also with regards to it essentially being a free holy light spell, by making use of these whilst farming as a paladin, could be extremely useful in those desperate situations, potentially being the difference between life and death. Now, it won't make you much gold, if any, by having this, although you can sell the ready-made bandages on the auction house if the price is right. It's mainly there as a handy tool in case of emergencies, although we all know by now, if you are farming and intend on vendoring your cloth, you may as well transform them into bandages and vendor those instead as they can sell for more. So far it all sounds fine and dandy, doesn't it? Well, you would be correct. The only downside to first aid is that if you do get damaged whilst using it on yourself, it will interrupt the cast time and you'll instantly stop using it. The same thing goes if you cast a bandage on someone else too. If you or they take damage, it will interrupt it. But honestly, 
that's just a minor thing to even worry about compared to all of the positives that it brings. Just be cautious that it can happen though, so when you do begin to use one, make sure you're out of combat or somewhere safe and you'll be good to go. So let's find out how we can level from 1 to 300, shall we? Firstly, head on down to your chosen first aid trainer. They're located in all of the major cities. Which one you go to is your choice? Personally, for me, I chose the one in Ironforge. The name of this trainer is Nisa Firestone, and the building is called the Ironforge Physician, which is located right here as shown on the map, not too far from the Flightmaster. Once you're there, simply learn the Apprentice First Aid skill and begin making the linen bandages until you reach the skill of 40. After this, you'll then need to learn how to make the heavy linen bandages. So do that now and begin crafting the heavy linen bandages until the skill of 50. From here, you'll want to learn the Journeyman First Aid from the trainer to progress further in the skill. After doing so, continue to make more of the heavy linen bandages until you reach the skill of 80. After this, learn how to make the wool bandages from the trainer and then begin to make all of those until you're at 115. As soon as you've hit 115, let's start making the heavy wool bandages now. Do this all the way to 125. Before moving on now, if you didn't go and collect the three books mentioned earlier, then it's time to head on down to get them now. If you are a lower level, I would take care when heading through the fortress ruins as there are a lot of elite mobs all around the mid 30 level. The place we're going is Storm God Keep in Arafi Highlands as seen right here. To get to Deneb Walker, which is the name of the NPC who sells the book, you'll simply need to take your first right once inside and continue heading towards the friendly NPCs. Follow the path around like I do and eventually you'll find him. As always guys, I recommend buying two of each book. That's one copy for you and one copy to sell for a slight profit on the auction house. These books are used by almost everyone and are fairly out of the way like the cookbook. So they'll probably sell fairly fast. Learn the expert first aid on the wraps. Great book title by the way. And continue making the heavy wool bandages all the way to 150. After reaching 150, it's now time to learn how to make the silk bandages. You can do this by learning it from your trainer, so do that now and begin making those until you reach 180. Now that you're at 180 in skill, you'll not be needing to learn anything from your trainer. Instead, the next bandages are all learned from the free books that you purchased. So use the manual heavy silk bandage now and begin making those until you're at 210. Once you've done that, now learn the mage weave bandage from the book manual mage weave bandage. Then begin making the mage weave bandages until you reach 225 in skill. Now you're here, I can happily say that you're nearly done. At this point, if your bags are getting quite full, I recommend you sell all of the bandages you've made to a vendor. Unless, of course, you intend on using them, that is. Then, bring all of the mage weave and rune cloth with you as we're now heading down to Theramore Island for the final leg. After arriving at Theramore, you will need to head into the castle located right here. And then take your first right, then take a left, and you'll see right in front of you the one and only Dr. Gustav Van Housen. This master first aider will be your new mentor in becoming a master like him himself. Talk to him and begin the quest that he gives you. This is pretty fun if you've never done it before and didn't expect to do it. I won't give any spoilers away, hence why I'm not showing any footage on this. So just use the bandage that he gives you on the soldiers in the same room that you're in now and then complete the quest. Awesome. Since we've now got Artisan First Aid, we can continue towards our goal. After this, you'll be able to continue making the Mage Weave Bandages until you've hit 214 skill. Next, learn the Heavy Mage Weave Bandage from him and make them until you're at 260. After this, speak to the doctor again and he will give you another dialogue option to make the Rune Cloth Bandages. Do this and make Rune Cloth Bandages until you reach 219 skill. Finally, speak to the doctor one final time 
and learn from him the heavy rune cloth bandages and then make those until you've hit 300. Congratulations, you're now a masterful first aider with a skill of 300 in WoW Classic. Well done. Looking back at this journey, it's safe to say that it was by far the easiest and fastest one to do. Personally, this is the first time I've ever done first aid in the game. So doing the quest that Dr. Gustav gives you was a surprise to me and brought a smile to my face. Even now, I'm still finding things that do surprise me in the game. Not to get all sentimental on you guys or anything. Just saying, it's pretty cool. Anyways... You finally hit 300 in first aid and can now make the heavy runecloth bandages. You won't really make much gold from it, but it will be a great tool to use in your arsenal if you ever find yourself in a desperate situation. I can recall quite a few times that I've been mass AoE pulling and I've been out of mana. Times like those, I could have really made good use of having first aid. I imagine most of you watching this would also agree with that, which is exactly why I decided to level it up. To be honest with you all, reaching 300 in first aid as well as cooking and fishing, which by the way, if you've not seen those guides, they're in a playlist below in the description to this video labelled Classic WoW Professions Guide. Then I recommend that you take a look at them for another straightforward and easy guide like this. But by having all of those secondary professions at max skill in WoW Classic has actually been quite a fun journey. Despite fishing being a slugfest and cooking making a decent profit, bottom line, I had fun. And I know that they're all going to come in handy now that I have them too, which is cool. Anyway guys, by now you should be well armed with the information that you need to get from 1 to 300 in the first aid profession. On top of this, Hopefully you've enjoyed watching today's video. As you guys know by now, we're shooting for 2,000 subscribers here on YouTube, so any and all support is massively welcome. I know every YouTuber will say this, but if you've enjoyed today's video, then be sure to tickle that thumbs up button. I'm sure it would be happy if you did. Also, don't be afraid to drop a comment in the comment section below if you have any questions or would like to add anything. I'd like to hear from you. And finally, if you've got any buddies in game who need to stop being noobs by learning first aid, then give the video a share to them. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. But until the next video, everyone, see ya.